Well, hell. Friends, I've heard that just about every small town there is has their own peculiar stories, you know. And believe you me, in my lifetime, I've heard quite a few of them. Now, this one right here that you're about to hear about, I heard this one from old brother Abe Partridge. And I'll tell you right now, this one right here, it might just take the cake. It might just be the most peculiar one I've ever heard. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a grave announcement to make. Hey, Bob, come here and listen to this. Seen, both the observations of science and the evidence of our eyes lead to the inescapable assumption that those strange beings who landed in the Jersey farmland tonight. Jersey? The vanguard of an invading army from the planet Mars. Man, I wish they'd get down battle here. battle which took place tonight has ended in one of the most startling defeats ever suffered by an army in modern times. 7,000 men on the right. Man, I've been, I've been waiting for this to happen. The fighting machine of the invaders from Mars. 120 known survivors. The rest flew over the battle area from Grover's known as the plane to Crushed and trampled to death under the metal feet of the monster. Or burned to cinders by its heat ray. Man, I wish they'd come to Alabama. Well, I was quiet in the back 40 trailer park that night. I mean, there's a few domestic fights and the usual petty crimes, but I was feeling all right. Mixing whiskey with my Sprite and toasting all those ghosts of the lost southern pines. And I heard a lurking in the night, and I knew something wasn't right, and I was covered in the white of an otherworldly light, and I looked up and beheld a spacecraft from another world. At least that's what I observed Cause I ain't learned But I can certainly confirm There ain't nothing on this planet ever turned At the angles and the rate of speed At which it surged And then I heard my neighbor Wanda Cursing and slurs As the UFO swirled And upon her trailer converged And she was carried away in this tractor beam A horrible scene Her hair still in rollers Her nightie busting at the seams And her scream Man, it got all the more extreme As she flew through the air To this E.T. machine And I knew that this wasn't just a dream Oh, it ain't no dream Cause I mean, yeah, I know I've been drinking and probably even smoked a little green, but I can't stand LSD, and this would be an hallucination supreme, even I've seen. So I jumped into action like a Vietnam era Marine, cause this is gonna be war. You know, I'd seen one before, and I had a stash of ammunition underneath my trailer floor, and I'd heard freaky stories galore from Bubba next door, and it sure ain't my ass them aliens gonna probe and explore, so I got a 12-gauge bomb in my AR, and my granddaddy's government-issued K-Bar. Man, y'all should have never came here now, as this is gonna be war. Cause I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come Yes, I've been, I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come so I threw some cover fire and jumped and crawled to my truck. I knew if I was gonna beat these aliens, I'd need distance and luck. And then I sped through the muck until I ended up over by the levee and I hunkered down in the brush. I started siding in my gear when this little green man appeared And he looked right through my soul while in my eyes he stared And I knew he must have got scared when he saw I had no fear And I'd smoke his little green ass without shedding a tear And then he disappeared and I said, man, this is really getting weird And so I ran through that trailer park like a redneck Paul Revere I said, the aliens are coming and now there ain't no sense in running, boys Let's take our stand here, y'all, let's do some extraterrestrial hunting Cause I'm just... I'm just, I'm just waiting on the aliens to come. I've been, I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. I've been, I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. Cause stars fell on Alabama, and a lot of other shit has too. But the last thing we're gonna take is 
being pursued by some alien crew who intergalactically flew through time and space just to land into the back 40 trailer park. And yeah, we made our mark, we beat them aliens back and we did it in the dark. And we found Wanda and her only remark was that she guessed they had to abduct her, but in her nightgown, man, that was just harsh. And I even stole a little space traveling car. I got it out in the barn and me and Bubba painted it camouflage and we're about to embark as an interstellar white trash Lewis and Clark. We're gonna be the first Alabama astronauts. Cause I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. As I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. As I've been, I've been, I've been waiting on the aliens to come. Friends and neighbors, if you ever find yourself out and about traveling south through Alabama, do yourself a favor and stay off them interstates. Get off of Y-65 and hit them old back roads. And right about where the cotton fields start meeting the bows, start looking up towards the stars. If you see a little something that just don't look right to you, you know, up there, something just moving in a way that don't seem like it's from this earth, I wouldn't get too nervous about it because it's probably just the old Alabama astronaut up there taking his space traveling card out for a, hell, a little interstellar drive, you know. I gotta say, that was a pretty good crack of the beer, though. Dude, that was nice. That was powerful. I know it was. That was powerful. I taste it's, the, of, it's taste, the shirt. Taste of the Rockies. It's the shirt. <laughs> Freedom. That's what that sounded like. Boy, that... That beer knew it was being opened yeah, by Yeah, it did. Sleeveless freedom. Yeah, it did. It said sleeveless freedom. <laughs> <laughs>